इंडक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फील्ड ऑफ स्टडी इन फिजिक्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रोमेटिक इंडक्शन फराडे लॉज एंड इलेक्ट्रोमेटिक फोर्स इंडक्शन मीन्स समथिंग विच ऑकर्स ड्यू टू अदर्स विदाउट एनी टच Lot of work has been done by Faraday in this field. We have discussed these things here. This is the beginning of another class unit, and this is the syllabus of your unit. We are having electromagnetic induction, Faraday laws, electromagnetic force. Then we will discuss integral and differential forms of Faraday laws, self and mutual inductance. then we will discuss transformers energy in electromagnetic field as you have discussed others law in the previous chapters so we will consolidate these things maxwell displacement current derivative of maxwell equations electromagnetic field intensity pointing vector then electromagnetic field wave equations plane electromagnetic waves in both plane medium and dielectric medium finally reflections fresnel laws reflection and transmission by the ionosphere we will discuss in this unit electromagnetic induction or only simple induction is a process in which when a conductor is put in a particular position and magnetic field keeps varying or magnetic field is stationary and conductor is moving anything can be happen either magnetic field is moving and conductor is in one place or conductor is moving at a given place this produce a voltage or emf this produce a voltage across the conductor we use this term electromagnetic force and this is called induction by motion of one a voltage generation in the circuit michael faraday discovered the law of induction in 1830 he showed what will happen if you move a magnet towards or away from an setup it consists of coil or and galvanometer how the induction took place induction generates in this magnets in the conductor due to the motion of magnets the induction of an electromagnetic force by the motion of conductor across magnetic field or by changing magnetic field in magnetic field induct magnetic field is called electromagnetic induction this either happens when a conductor is set to move magnetic field when you utilizing ac power source or when a conductor is always moving in stationary magnetic field we should uh, have considered these two behavior any motion can be considered motion of your magnets or motion of your object faraday law of induction also known as faraday law is a basic law of electromagnetism this helps us to predict how a magnetic field may interact with electric circuit to produce an electromotive force and this phenomena is known as electromagnetic induction the question may be asked in the exam what is electromagnetic induction we must know we have used electromagnetic word because this induction took place by one of the way here magnetic field interact with electrical circuit 
we have interacting two things we have one magnetic field and electric field both and due to this induction is produced that is why we term this electromagnetic induction itself the meaning is something by distance i think all of you may be aware of this we have many applications where we perform the application without touch just by some distance that is called induction you may have the idea whenever we swap our card for money example of electromagnetic induction a magnetic strip is there and we move the card this application is based on very simple experiment or suggest suggest by faraday 1830 this law was proposed in 1831 by an experimental physicist and chemist called michael faraday you can see where the name of the law come from the faraday law or the law of electromagnetic induction are basically the result of observations of the experiment that faraday conducted he performed three man experiment to discover the phenomena of electromagnetic induction faraday law of induction consists of two laws the first law describe the induction of emf in a conductor and the second law quantifies the emf produced in conductor in the next few section we will discuss these things in details faraday first law is about the conductor and the magnetic field whenever a conductor is placed in a varying magnetic field emf is induced and this emf or electromagnetic force is called induced electromagnetic force and if the conductor is a closed circuit then the induced current can flow through this so this is the first law this shows when a conductor is placed in a varying magnetic field electromagnetic force in induced and due to this a induced current can flow through the circuit there are certain ways to change the magnetic field intensity by rotating the coil relative to magnet by moving the coil into or out the magnetic field by changing the area of coil by moving a magnet through or away from the coil there are many ways you can move the magnet towards or away from the coil you can change the area you can change the coil several experiment can be performed the second law of electromagnetic induction tells and gives the magnitude of induced emf according to this law the magnitude of induced emf is always equal to rate of change of flux linkage rate of change of the flux which is linked with this suppose you are moving towards magnet is moving towards circuit and flux is increasing you move away from the circuit flux is decreasing the induced emf in a coil is equal to rate of change of flux linkage 
The flux is the product of number of turns in the coil and flux associated with the coil. The formula for Faraday law is given as electromagnetic force is equal to capital N del phi over del T where capital N is the number of turns in the coil. Phi is the magnetic flux. T is the time and epsilon is the electromagnetic force. The negative sign indicates that the direction of induced EMF and change in direction of magnetic field have opposite signs always. Now consider a magnetic approaching towards a coil. Consider two time instance, suppose T1 and T2. The flux linkage with the coil at any time T1 supposes can be written as T1 is equal to N51. And the flux linkage at time T2 is given as N52. Now the change in flux may be written as N52 minus N51. Initially it was N51, then N52, the change can be written as. And we consider this change as phi. Hence, the change in flux linkage can be done as N phi. Here phi is phi to minus phi 1. Remember this from the last slide. Now, the rate of change of flux. If you want to calculate rate of change of flux, then we have to divide this equation by T time. So, rate of change of flux can be done as N phi by T. If you take the derivative for a small change in flux, we can take derivative. So if we take the derivative of this, means in place of phi we use d phi and in place of t we use small time dt, then this will be equal to n d phi over dt. Now according to Faraday's second law of electromagnetic induction, we know that the electromagnetic force in a coil is equal to rate of change of flux change. So this should be equal to rate of change of flux change should be equal to EMF, induced EMF. So EMF can be done as and d phi over dt. Of course, we can apply minus and this is a contribution of Lange. Lange has so always Lange has told that this minus is showing you the induced is induced charge which is opposite to original the direction is opposite to the original so we can conclude with this the increase in number of turns in the coil increases the induced emf if you increase the EMF number of turns this will induce increase the induced emf which is proportional to m if we increase the magnetic field strength this will also increase induced EMF because it is proportional to phi. Now increasing the speed of the relative motion between the coil and magnet result in increased EMF. So these are the conclusions. We have discussed here Faraday experiment and we are just revising this. In the first experiment he proved that when the strength of magnetic field is varied only then current is induced. An emitter was connected to a loop of wire. The emitter deflect when the magnet is moved. In the sex experiment, he proved that the passing a current through an iron rod would make electromagnetic. He observed when a relative motion exists between magnet and the coil, the electromagnetic force will be induced. When the magnet was rotated about an about its axis, no electromotive force observed. 
but when the magnet was rotated about its axis but when the magnet field rotated about its own axis then the induced electromotive force produced thus there is no deflection in the emitter when magnetic field held stationary while conducting the third experiment he recorded the galvanic emitter didn't show any deflection and no induced current were produced in the coil when coil was moved in a stationary magnetic field the emitter deflected in the opposite direction when magnet moved away from the blue these all shows the electromotive force idea here many cases are summarized magnet at rest no deflection magnet move toward the coil deflection is there in one direction magnet is held stationary at the same position again no deflection the magnet move away from the coil again you have some deflection in the opposite direction the magnet if magnet will stationary at the same position no deflection the electromagnetic force is the electrical action produced by non electrical source emf or volts a device that convert other form of energy into electrical energy is called transducer such as battery that convert chemical energy or generators we use this many many applications Faraday concluded that if relative motion exists between conductor and magnetic field, the linkage with the coil changed, and that this change is produce a voltage. Faraday's law basically states when the magnetic field or the magnetic field changes with time, or magnetic flux changes with time, the electrode force is produced, and on the basis of this, formulated laws. Many applications may be developed. Leeson method is induction cooker work on the basis of mutual induction. Electric field and magnetic field induction basis of Faraday law. By inducing electric flow into electromagnetic flow meter, the velocity of fluids can be recorded. Many applications can be developed. Many numericals can be carried out on this Faraday law. Here I have shown one of them. However, you can go through either internet or your textbook or whatever uh, book you are having in which you can get the Faraday induction. You can do many numericals. A straight wire of 0.20 meter moves at a steady speed of 3 0.0 meter per second at right angle to magnetic field of flux density 0.10 tesla and this induce across the emf induce across the wire will be the emf can be calculated from here this is emf is electromotive force and we know out of these four answers, what will be the answer? You can check this. We know uh, Laurent force QVB sin theta can be used where B velocity is given and B is given. Obviously, length is not there in our formula, so we should use BVL sin theta formula here. And L is given, sin theta 9 is given. So 90 theta is equal to 90 and speed is given and magnetic field is given so if you do all this you will get the answer 0 0.06 voltage other some can also be done here is the answer Thanks for this first lecture. We have discussed what is induction, Faraday law of induction, first 
if I had the first law of induction, if I had the second law of induction, what is electromotive force? In the next lecture, we will discuss various forms of Faraday law of induction. Thanks and take care.